So the next requirement is to identify or examine the database uh, through the use of statistics to see if everything that was supposed to be provided to us matches the financial statement. So let me look at the exercise um, here. Uh, and our client is giving us finan a financial um, statement that will say that the gross amount that was received uh, or that was generated in terms of sales for the period that we're examining, right, which is supposed to be just from January 2015 to March 2015, should be $369,255.13. Now this is the GST, which I believe in Canadian um, uh, in Canadian language, this is gross uh, sales tax, and then this is the provincial sales tax, which is normally collected separately. So we're looking at this uh, Canadian uh, transaction database, not a not a U.S. transaction database. So that's what GST and PST stands for, just in case you were wondering. So the way we do this is we can look at field statistics. We go to the gross amount. And if we go to the field statistics, we can look at the numeric fields and we'll see that the net value of my accounts receivable for the period that was established is 435,864. See, it's supposed to be 369, but somehow we were given more money. So why is it that the financial statements are not matching those numbers? Well. We're gonna examine that, but this is a simple way of looking at the statistics and figuring out what's going on. So are we supposed to have negative values? If we look at the negative values, right? We have negative records. Uh, this is supposed to be AR, normally they're positive records. So something happened, what happened? Well, there were some refunds most likely. Was it the wrong price? Why is it that these transactions are not appropriately um, documented? Is there a an authorization somewhere uh, that determines why we did this. Right? So that's something I would want to examine in my audit. Uh, why is it that we refunded this? Did we write them off, etc.? So let me be done with this. Uh, this is the general sales tax, and it's supposed to be twenty-five thousand according to the financial statements. But uh, I am seeing a twenty-nine thousand. So there's a discrepancy on the on the amounts. The PSD is showing to be a $33,000 value, but it's supposed to be $28,000 and some change. Um, my date range will give me that the earliest date is November 4, 2014, and that is including transact three transactions from November and December and one transaction from April. So those four transactions should not be in my extract. It should only be from January to March of 2015. So there is an issue here with my statistics, and that's something you can see through the use of the field statistics um, um, properties. I could look at um, other stuff that is based on invoices, uh, et cetera, uh, but most of the stuff that we're gonna look in statistics gonna have to be either numeric-based or date-based uh, for it to make sense. Um, one other thing that you can do is look at the history, and you will see that I imported this uh, today. Um, I modified the field names, et cetera. So if you're collaborating with a different uh, accountant, they will be able to see what was modified, uh, if there were any corrections, et cetera, to, to your uh, view of the database. If you're modifying a field, you're showing exactly, exactly what happened. This is the control uh, total that we created for the gross amount and so forth. This is important because you may be able to look at um, statistics and metadata from your database um, that may be helpful to your audit. All right, so I am gonna go ahead and go back to my field statistics and look at the numeric. And you know, you can print several screens, but um, in this case, I'm you know, you can choose to print this and the history. Just want to make sure you understand that. Go ahead and copy paste that into your uh, Word document, and then. That should be it. You don't need more than one, but I, I, I post more than one. All right. That should be all for this. Thank you.